Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, dogs and cats and zebras who got a friend with posable thumbs to click on this YouTube video, welcome back to Spell Slingers. I'm Day9 and today we're gonna play some magic with my nerd friends and today's said friend is none other than Christina Choa. Christina, Good morning, how Hi, are Sean. you? Hi, Sean. Good morning, good. How are you this fine Sunday? I am Christina Ochoa, and I guess I am best known for TNT's Animal Kingdom, or ABC's new show, A Million Little Things, which is coming this fall. Well, let me tell you, what I did is I woke up and I drank enough coffee to where now I feel like I can see slightly into the future. Oh, what, so who wins? I can't see that, that far. far. <laughs> I only know that we're gonna be playing a game of magic in a uh -huh. little bit. I don't even remember my own name. And Christina comes in, she has so much energy. She's ready to go. She's got a fleet of makeup of tears who are currently like doing her hair and doing her face. She's talking to them and she's switching languages and stuff. And I'm like, I am Sean, I play card game. So I'm hoping that I can ramp up to being a real human being because I wanna win. Now I understand, you are not completely new vanilla to magic, but you have some history playing and you're mm -hmm. not pro tour ready. Talk to me about your experience playing the game. I was taught by actually a couple of our mutual nerd friends, some of them which you've already had on the show. So Grant and Bobak and Kyle, who I believe you're having on later as well. I belong to a group called the Nerd Brigade, which is a group of scientists and science communicators. And uh, Kyle and I are members of the group and that's how I started getting into magic as well, so all through him. <laughs> but I'm still new, so I'm still working through it, but the competitor in me is really strong, so I'm gonna ride with that. Excellent. Now it's time to maybe embark upon a epic back and forth battle. Perhaps it's going to be a complete one-sided drubbing. There's only one way to find out, Christina. I'm ready. It's time to spin to find out your fate. It's time to roll on the wheel of destiny. Gosh, the timing that was, was so tough. sick. Oh my God. <laughs> Stand right. up, spin All it. All right, I'm ready. Double green. I am playing the new Vivian Reed Planeswalker uh, deck and she's a completely new character, a completely new Planeswalker that we have not seen yet. So I'm really excited. I haven't seen any of the cards and I can't wait. Done, oh. <laughs> I'll take it. Oh. I kind of honestly wanted to get the green deck because Vivian is a new Planeswalker. I want to know what she does. And I've played tons and tons and tons of green decks. It's just so straightforward to get a ton of mana out and play the giant huge creatures. It's a new set. I want to see what the new huge creatures are. I can see into the future a little bit. How far into the future? Yeah, yeah, about about half a minute. Okay. And I think that in the next half minute, I'm going to spin onto the double black. Hmm. Let's find out Let's what's going to happen out. because the thick swole green man against the double black. Now, okay, I have a question for you. Okay. On my first spin, mm -hmm. how much torque should I use? A lot, a little, something in between? Do it just right. So somewhere in between, not too much. Uh, not too hard, not yes. too soft. The Goldilocks yes. spin, indeed. The Goldilocks spin, just right. Oh! First try! Emotionally, I'm very happy. Black, my favorite color in all of Magic the Gathering. But that's generally in combination with a second color. Mono black, I feel like I can do a lot of stuff, but black is all about paying an additional cost in order to do it. So I'm hoping I don't shoot myself on the foot by overly losing health and sacrificing my own creatures. Ooh. Let us summon the decks. Let's see. Get ready. To, uh, three, two, one. Oh. That was fancy. Oh, that's good, yeah. That was good. <laughs> yeah, it's good I have a high was fiber diet. it as good diet. for you as yeah. it is for me? It's time to determine who's gonna go first, and the only way to do that is via the roll of a d20. Larger numbers are better. Go bigger, go home. I have received an 18 and a 17. Oh, I'm gonna go so first. Close. I'm unbelievable at this. Oh Just as good as you are with the wheel of fate. I know. So I good. <laughs> shh, shh, did you hear that? It's, it's time to draw some cards what? out. All right, so I'm gonna draw out the seven cards. All right. All right, you go first. So make it good. Well, first of all, I will keep my hand. I, I mean, this is, this is okay. This is, this is doable. Are you gonna keep yours? Are you keeping? I'm gonna keep mine. All right. Christina, good luck, okay, but not mine. that much, man. I play a swamp and pass the turn. I'm done. <laughs> Your turn. The drama continues. Sean's dropping the mana, I'm dropping the mana. 
It's a Mexican standoff now. One land, one land, pass, pass. Okay. All right. All right, here we go. The horde of zombies is rolling in. The walking corpse. Boom. It's a 2-2 that does nothing, but boy. Whenever something has no rules text, mm -hmm. that means it has a lot of flavor text. What's the story on yours? Feeding a normal army is a problem of logistics. With zombies, it is an asset. Feeding is why they fight. Feeding is why they are feared. From Jadar, ghoul caller of Nefalia. Walking Corpse has a whole lot to say and not a lot to do. It's a 2 2 dork. Pass the turn to you. <laughs> Thank you. Something coming down? Are you just building, it's building a, the wall just, of trees? Yeah, it's all. So this is, this, is, this is good news and bad news. It's good in that you have no things, but it's bad in that you probably have big things. All right. I'll be playing another swamp. Uh -huh. And I'm going to send in the attack! Ah! Uh, well, I'm gonna take it. Sean just drew the first blood. Gloves are off now. Yes! Yes! I usually don't get off to that quick of a start with black. I got a 2-2 two, two now and a 3-3 three, three coming, so she'll probably be below 10 health in a turn or two. I don't like where this is headed, you guys. It's invigorating. It's like a new wow. bravado that you have. I like it. I like that. Man, I should, I should be a guest on this you show should. and do that, because that, that's really satisfying to draw first blood. I'm also going to cast another dude, a Risen Gorgon. So Sean now has two creatures in play, and I still have nothing. So, uh, let's see. Now, because these are provided by Wizards of the Coast, it would be a cruel and unkind thing to do to give me a deck with no Liliana and a card with Liliana Synergy. So my Gorgon is basically just a 3-3. Yeah, it'll get Death Touch if I draw Liliana, but chances of drawing that I think are unlikely at this point. So if that does happen, then all of a sudden this Gorgon is perfect for blocking a 6-6 or a 10-10 or some other huge creature. I am done. All right, I am all going right. to all right. play the Elvish. Rejuvenator. Oh, I know this card. First, I get the Elvish Rejuvenator, and it lets me look through the top five cards of my library. So I get another mana, and I get to put it on the battlefield, and uh, I'm just building up to be able to bring down those big creatures. All right, is this it? Just a rejuvenating turn? Uh, that is it. All right, we're going in with the Army of the Dead. I'm going to first, before fighting, I'm going to play the Skeleton Archer, who is a 3-3. Three, three. Bam, this elf summons the summons that wood. <sighs> That's all he's good for. He's That's done, it. man. He's done. out. So Sean's army just got a little bit bigger, and he just took out my only defense. And uh, then I'm going to swing in with these two. I'm sending in the attack. Mm. Mm. All right. I, I know I said that the gloves came off, uh, but now I'm down to 13 life, and he's still at 20, and I don't see the light at the end of the tunnel. I should be really happy, but I'm actually pretty bad at playing aggressive decks, so yeah, I have a bunch of creatures, and she has nothing, and I'm dealing a bunch of damage, but... I just get a little uncomfortable when I have almost no cards in my hand. Okay, let's go ahead and send it to you, Christina. All right. I'm feeling lucky this turn. I mean, my turns are getting simpler and simpler. I'm like getting fewer and fewer cards in my hand. Mm -hmm. Getting more nerds on the board. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and play the Druid of the Cowl. Okay. Now are you going to ramp to something gigantic? Or are you going to ramp to nothing? Okay, so at least I'm still in the game and slowly coming back in. Vivian's Jaguar. Okay. I have the Jaguar in now and I am slowly rebuilding, hopefully steadily. Got it her. is now your turn. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna attack with my three threes. Both three threes are heading in. All right, so I am going to block one of your three threes. I'm going to block the Gorgon. And that's about it. So All I'll right. take the other three. All right. I'll be down to 10. This, oh, this is going down quick. The Jaguar dies. And then I'm going to play Liliana the Necromancer. Oh! 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 I now have two win conditions right now. I have a bunch of uncontested creatures. And even if those get dealt with, I have Liliana. And the fact that she can eventually start peeling stuff up out of graveyards, giving them to me. I really feel at a strong advantage right now. What I love about this is that this has put creature cards from any graveyard onto the battlefield, so. From, oh, but as you, under your control. Yeah. So you could take them from my graveyard and put oh, them, yeah. oh, great. That could become my Jaguar. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm gonna plus one it, man. I'm gonna plus one it and deal two damage to you. Send you to eight, feeling great. I have to stop Liliana or I'm going to just slowly, you know, whittle away and die. Okay, I'm getting impatient. I really it's ready to like, no, I'm okay, waiting. I'm okay, waiting. I'm, I'm gonna tap this guy and get some tap. extra mana. Yeah. And then I'm gonna tap all of these and I'm gonna put in 
this artifact creature which can oh, destroy yeah. a target non-land permanent. Okay, Sean, so you're feeling really good about yourself, but this Liliana game, it's it's starting to annoy me. So, oh, no. I'm gonna destroy your Liliana. Yeah. So suddenly, I have no Liliana. I'm starting to run low on creatures on the board. Uh, I'm regretting not using Liliana's minus three to peel a creature back out of my graveyard. Um, this is looking not good, because I, I part of me wanted to use the minus one and just snatch back the Arisen Gorgon, but it's obviously better to go for the minus seven, so now I'm having trouble letting go. But at least she'll only have like six sixes with Trample coming. So that sucked for me. That's not good. You'll be, um, you'll be okay. Okay, what else? What else are you gonna do to me? Nothing? That's it. Nothing? That's okay. as far as I go. Well, yeah, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna swing in with the skeleton archer. So I am going to block with my golem. Sure, sure they die. Sean came at me with his largest creature, knowing that I could Block him, and uh, not sure why he did that. All right. We're trying to, we're, we're clearing a path. We're clearing a path. And then I'm going to do two dudes at once. Oh gosh. Another walking corpse. Okay. A little mediocre 2 1. And the Sky March Blood Letter. So Sean suddenly plays two creatures out of nowhere. Uh, I didn't see that coming, but I also feel like I'm, I'm, you know, building my army as well, and I feel like I'm in a pretty strong position. A flying 2-2 two -two that says, when Sky March Bloodletter enters the battlefield, target opponent loses one life and you gain one life. Get Bloodletter. Yeah. Yeah. Shh. Yeah. Okay. I can work with this. Are you done? I'm done. Okay. Are you done? Are you done? Are you, Are done? you done? I kind of rename the cards as I play them. I'm like, oh, so the Shakira Wolf is gonna come in. Yeah, to no, play. that's of course, of course. <laughs> um, and that's two and three. I'm thinking of renaming the Wolf the Shakira Wolf. I mean, I feel like that's the first thing I saw, and its hips don't lie. So I'm going to reveal this one. The Colossal Majesty, which is an enchantment. Okay. I'll put that in my hand. I bring down my wolf and immediately, even though I can't attack with it yet because it's summoning, I bring down Rabid Bite, okay. which then allows me to deal that damage to a target creature and kill off Sean's Flyer, which is going to be that one, the flying one. I know, I know. When you said Rabid Bite, I just was like, oh, Rabid Bite, I just want to like throw <laughs> it into the graveyard. Let's get it over with, peel the Band-Aid off. Okay, sorry, so that is it. All right, these walking corpses, they've done me good. I'm gonna cast Blood Divination. I'm not sure what I need to draw. Goodbye, Mr. Corpse, but I need to draw it right now. All right, so I'm gonna draw one, and two, and three. And that is the end of my turn. <laughs> All right. All right, we're just, I'm just organizing the yep, swamps. Yep, it's a little OCD. There's a technique in meditation called mindfulness. I don't want to think about anything that's happening to me, and I'm carefully studying the way the lines line up next to the other lines. I'm just being mindful in this moment. Yep, I got, I'm I just got same. a walking corpse in a dream. All right. I'm kind of regretting attacking with my 3-3. Three, three. Maybe that's fine. I just wanted to just clear and go in and try to, because you're at seven. You're at seven. So I have the opportunity to finally bring down either the Dread Maw or Vivian, my planeswalker, I decide to bring down the Colossal Dread Mob. Oh. Because I want to be able to use Vivian's uh, plus two counter onto my creature. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Very well. Yeah. This game is almost turning out like storybook exact way black versus green is supposed to work. That green takes a bunch of damage while getting a bunch of land out and then psh, huge things are coming to town. And I am also going to attack with the Shakira wolf, <laughs> with this Kala wolf. All right, yes, wow. <laughs> I will receive three oh damage. My. Yes, finally. We're not doing so hot, man. Yeah, All right. that is it, your turn. I need an expensive magical Can draw. Can I see this card? Yeah, man, this is the same as that I played uh, earlier. Oh, the Gorgon. It's the Gorgon. Okay. So I got a 3-3 three, three and a 2-2. Two, two. You got a 3-3 three, three and a 6-6 six, six and a 1-3 and land and cards. Your turn. I am going to bring down Vivian, the Planeswalker. Finally, I get to bring down Vivian. And my entire deck is built around her. So I'm really excited. I finally put her down. And I just want to watch Sean start to shake and crumble. I'm ready. I am also 
going to put this cat spirit back. Yeah, so and I mean, all signs point to you me being controlling the, the planes walker. proud owner of a planeswalker. <laughs> um, okay, so that, and I am going to... Well, are you going to plus two me, or are you going to minus three me? So I am going to put a plus two on Vivian, because I'm trying to make my way up. All right, all right, but who's going to get the plus two counters? My dinosaur. Okay. Um, and I am going to attack. Just see what happens. All right, so it has trample, so I can handle this for one turn. So it's gonna be hard to live. You can't chump block this one, Sean. What you gonna do? I actually think I just receive eight damage. You know, they say that health is just a resource, but uh, chucking away eight health is like, it's like a lot of resource, right? If you know what I mean. Kinda don't wanna just think of it as a resource right now. All right. Your turn. Uh, see, what I'm worried about is that Vivian can use her minus three and you can blow up one of my dudes and then just like trample through. <laughs> and, then I, and then I'm very close to dead. Um, so, good luck to me. Oh. That sounds good. Yeah. Great. <laughs> and now I am not gonna do anything. It's your turn. Huh. Yeah. Hmm. Huh. Look at that, huh? Huh. It's okay. almost like some spells and abilities hmm. can be cast on your opponent's turn. Hmm. Hmm. All right. So I am going to bring down this enchantment, Colossal Majesty. It says at the beginning of your upkeep, oh, yeah. if you control a creature with power four or greater, draw a card. I am also going to bring down Vivian's Jaguar. Oh, yeah, the Jaguar here. that went back last Love turn. Love him. Him, her, I don't know. I'm gonna add a plus two here. All right. I'm a little bit skeptical because I feel like Sean has an ace up his sleeve somewhere. I'm, I'm not entirely sure, but I decide to put my counters onto my Jaguar instead of my dinosaur. Okay, to the Jaguar. Yes. Then I will go ahead and attack you with the dinosaur. I have my swole green men. I got my planeswalker. I got my creatures. I got the game. Now. Before I do anything, and before that damage happens, I'm going to just murder the Colossal Dreadmaw, man. I'm going to mur murder. Mm. Yes. Maybe I don't got the game. You know, murder was a real problem for dinosaurs before the extinction. So that, that at least gives me a little bit of temporary comfort. I'm planning on getting minus nine to next turn. Uh, that means that your enchantment will not trigger. Oh, it'll of course trigger because you have the second target. Yes. You should have plus two the... Dreadmaw, you should have done it. I wanted so badly for you to do it. May I? Yes, you may. Thank you. I'm like that character that no one was really that interested in in the first season of the show, and the villain's looking over me with the gun, and I get the last word in. I'm f dead. I like hearing that. I get to say something that, you know what? Makes the villain feel a little bit bad before I get shot in the f head. I'm gonna play Sovereign Bite. Target player loses three life and you gain three life, man. I'm going to 13, you're going to four. I'm going to four. Ugh. I'm not liking this. What do you mean you're not liking this? I don't have any more cards. <laughs> How can you possibly have despair? I have an empty gun. I have an empty gun, I have no martial arts skills. I don't even have a speech. I'm just gonna <laughs> die. And you're like, ooh, I don't know about this. I you don't know, know about this. You have. I Is it my turn? No, it's ah. not your turn. <laughs> you're just gonna hog the turn well, until I, you're comfortable. Well, apparently my opponent ready. doesn't know about this, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna at least milk this. At least okay, hope. yeah, do Listen, it. Listen, I do need it. to arrange Don't my slots. Don't forget I have this, so I get um, to draw another card. Yeah, that's fine. So that way yeah. I can become very dead. Yeah. All right, it's your turn. All right. God. So I am going to draw. I have Colossal Majesty and I get to use the enchantment. I am going to draw a card. So um, bow down to your queen, Sean. Yeah. And I am mm -hmm. going to put target creature gets plus four, plus four until end of turn. Um, I'm going to do it on this one, Why? of course. Why? Um, just cuz. He's gonna get plus four plus four. I'm gonna take the minus nine here and everything else is gonna get plus four plus four. So I don't need to, you know, trample Sean with plus four plus four counters on all my creatures, finally using Vivian's minus nine ability. 
but God, am I gonna enjoy watching him squirm when I do. She minus nine, it looks like we at least found a way to kill Vivian. There you go. Let me determine blocks. Mm -hmm. So this is... Remember this is now plus eight plus eight. uh, That's gonna be 13, and let me just look at my life total. I'm gonna come back to this one. Uh Uh-huh, okay, so plus four plus four. Okay, so... So Vivian did me... So this Give me is, a solid. So this, this is plus a, eight plus eight. So th- this is a thirteen twelve. Mm-hmm. Hmm. What is it? Is a and seven seven? Yes, yeah, seven seven, and they all have trample. Okay, so if I block here, I will reduce the seven down to four damage. So this is a, this is a five seven. This is a five something. Uh huh. Five minus two, that's three. So mm-hmm. I'll take four from there and three from there. So that's seven. Mm-hmm. Uh, plus thirteen. Plus thirteen. Yeah. I remember when I had 20 life. Still would have. Still wouldn't still have been enough. Yeah. Still wouldn't have been still enough. So, uh, so. So. Good game. Thank you. <gasps> Goal! <laughs> I could have made a few decisions differently throughout that game, but it was really nice to see Christina just start giggling more and more and more. And at points she was like, is it okay to kill all his stuff? And that's always kind of nice when someone starts to get into the flow of things. You got you got your own collection of swole green men. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty happy about it. Vivian did me good. I've missed playing because I haven't played in a while, but this is just like now I can smell the blood in the water and now I just can't wait to get my hands on another deck and just keep playing and um, I'm ready if anyone out there wants to Hit me up. I've been properly greened and properly trampled this morning, and though I mark a loss to start our day, I will return to play Magic again. And I hope that you too enjoy your future games of Magic the Gathering, and may you draw well. Bye. (laughs) Go away, get out. Go watch another episode.